this is fucking badass but then um from then till now like you could tell like that was just like a honeymoon phase because now they're just like losing like fucking players by the day because the competitive scene's strong but they keep they promised a roadmap in december of like what's to come and all this stuff and they said and then now it's like three months later and they haven't even said like you know like where halo is going so they have like literally no maps to play on there's all kinds of fucking issues with the game there's like desync issues we're like what do you mean hold on no maps to play on what do you mean the the, like there's very limited maps that they came out with and three of them are big team battle maps and so you're left with six maps and two of those two of those six uh, maps suck which is valhalla and this big space station one or whatever you know what i mean so you only have like four good maps to play with so um at this time when halo 3 came out they already came out with like a map pack of like four or five new maps yeah. for like 10 bucks. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they had all, and, and then they, they just came out with a patch that literally didn't do like that much, but this is, and they're like bragging as this is like the big halo update, but this is like a week two patch that should have came out. You know what I mean? Like a long time ago. I don't know. Three, four three just sucks, dude. And then, you know, I've heard a couple of people say that because I've asked, I've asked people who have been into it, like, what do you think about with, you know, it's sad, three, four, dude, it's really three. heartbreaking yeah. because dude, they have the opportunity with this game to make it the, maybe possibly the best Halo of all time. They yeah. literally brought all the OG Halo players I know got back into it with all these new players. And it's really fun because I've been so out of the scene and out of it for so long that like learning about all the new teams yeah. and, the, and the old players are still kind of playing and all this shit, like so, and the drama and all this shit. Like I almost enjoy watching that shit more than yes. I do playing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because Fucking a, bro. there's like, yeah. there's a lot of crazy drama going on yeah. players getting dropped. And it reminds me of the MLG days when I was yeah. really into it. You know what I mean? So I find myself just, watching the halo uh like championships online and shit um more than i'm I'm playing that's why i'm saying like the competitive scene aspect is great but then like i said there's desync issues where like melees don't connect um people like fucking crash out like crazy on pc um there's cheaters there's no anti-cheat so once you get to a certain level and you're playing only good players you just run into cheaters constantly and they don't do anything about it and the thing is they don't ever say anything. Yeah. All they need to go, do is come out and be like, hey, guys, we're going to have this, and we're working on this and that, blah, blah, blah. And everyone's like, okay, cool. Dude, they haven't said shit. Wow. Like nothing. It's like, what the fuck? You guys have nothing to say? One, they promised the roadmap in December. It was going to come out in January, and it's been three, mo- three months. It's like, what the fuck are they doing? One thing that uh, you said to me is that um, people don't fucking – talk to each other they don't use the mic yeah so that's the other thing that sucks so you know i i fucking went out and spent like 40 bucks on a headset and shit and fucking i was all stoked <laughs> and no one uses it dude like halo is a game of communication yeah. and shit and comms you know what i mean like once you get to a certain level most people do but um like there's a lot of different challenges and things they they try to give the game some playability that to try to unlock armors and things like that and none of those people ever have mics you know what i mean yeah. and then part of the fun is like um you know not only communicating with your teammates but um talking shit to the other team that's the other thing that sucks the whole lobby system is complete dog shit dude back in halo 2 and halo 3 you'd be in the lobby with the other team talking so much shit dude yeah. it's a pain in the ass creating lobbies, getting people to join, getting the headsets to all sync up. A lot of people use Discord now. Yes. So like yes. so you'll be running into people who like they're th- you could tell they're talking and you're not. And then or or like your whole team's not talking and I know the other team's talking yeah. because you know, I'll kill somebody and then I'll get killed right away because they called me out. You know yeah. what I mean? From somebody else. I'm like yeah. this fucking sucks. Yeah. And then people lagging out all the time. So um yeah, they just have a lot of things to uh, fix, and I and I guess season two comes out in like April or some or May or some shit, and um, you know people are pissed about like the armor unlock system and like the skins. Like there's like they were selling skins for like I think twenty bucks at first for like one color. Like you should be able to have access to all these colors to customize your shit, and they're selling like they literally were selling blue for like twenty bucks. Is it hard? <laughs> As, that's my point is like they came out as a live service 
and there's nothing live about it. Back in like Halo Three, dude, every week, every Monday, they yes. say where where they're at, what they're doing, yeah. what patches they're working oh, on, yeah. and this and, and shit. Even even shitty companies do that. Blizzard would do that. You know, they would have those blizz- nothing. Yeah. I'm blaming three four three, but it's just as much as Microsoft's fault too, because they're you know they they own three four three, but at the same time, I guess they would only keep employees and designers and all that shit and programmers on for no more than 18 months and then let them go because they didn't want to give them their benefits. So oh, no what one the fuck. Yeah. So no one would ever. F- so, okay. First of all, let me back up really quick. They debated whether to use this new engine that just came out or go back to this. the unreal. Yeah, I heard about that. And they decided to go with the new one and it's had, they've had nothing but problems and technical yeah. difficulties with it. And it's been a shit show. Right. And at the same time, they're like I just said, they're only hiring developers and shit like that for eighteen months at a time, then letting them go. So they're they're just contractors, and just, so, so they no don't one have ever enough time to, to learn them. everything. Yeah. And then by the time they know everything, they're bringing new people in. Yeah. yeah. And the okay. other thing I heard was they scrapped two thirds of the uh, the campaign, like what the campaign is now. There was two thirds more to it that they just scrapped because they just didn't have time to do it. You know what I mean? It's like what the fuck. So yeah, I don't know who to blame, dude.